Kiki here with you and I thought there's a huge mess on my desk uh, and it's because I thought I was going to take you along with me um, on a decorating journey. So I'm making myself um, a, an album where I can put all the um, all my recipes. So I've used up a bunch of the of papers from a set that's like super super old that I've had forever and I'm trying to use up my stuff um, and now I want to make pockets to put the recipes in because um, most of the recipes have been printed out on uh, some paper and whatever so then I'm, I'll probably put them on index cards and stuff uh, and I want to use as you know I, I love recycling so I want to use uh, envelopes as the pockets to this so as I was going through this I'm like okay well I need to decorate the pockets because obviously as you could see on this one it's kind of boring to just have that so I figured I could just um, prepared a bunch of uh, envelopes and then just use them as I need so that's where I figured I was gonna bring you because I've got this these beautiful um, papers and paper packs from um, Seven Gypsies and the brand architecture and you will find in the description box below the link to how you can go and get those um, where to go and get those and if you're in the States you're super lucky because you can get free shipping if you order I don't know if it's still the same but it used to be $25 or more you could get uh, free shipping so it's really a good deal so I figured let's you know just decorate envelopes with these beautiful papers that I've got and uh, let's go for it so now I just need to have the size of one of my uh, I should have planned better so I just need the size of this so that I can actually cut down envelopes uh, to fit and there's probably going to be a bunch of different uh, ones um, so that could be pretty this could be pretty I want neutral backgrounds kind of because of the fact that uh, I don't know what the ephemera is going to be so but what I could do is just start off I guess and take it from there like this would be a cool background so Let's just uh, do the measurements. So as you know, I recycle envelopes from work. And the small part I'm going to find other ways to use it. But the bigger part I want to use as pockets. I was thinking why am I cutting it but I'm cutting it because I already my book is going to be very thick so I don't want the double layer of the, of the paper okay so we've got two let's start off with that and we'll take it from there I guess okay so let's check out the wonderful papers in here Okay, so, oh, that would be cool. There's a lot of beautiful stuff on there. Oh, I love these. This is not so much for, for that. Um, I'll bring you down a bit so you can see the paper better. So this would not be for this album, but it's super pretty. So there's four pages of each. This shoe is very pretty, but not necessarily for this. However, this could be, so keep one. Oh, this is definitely perfect for my album. All the recipes. And then maybe not that, but this could be pretty. I need to find a way to put the other ones that I'm not gonna be using aside. This would be perfect. Yeah, this would be perfect. 
these are perfect there's a bunch of different ones that could be um, cut um, this not so much this not so much but it's so pretty though with the mermaid oh this would be amazing oh and i love the brick as well so that would be very pretty so would this and finally this is about tea but this is really pretty so we'll keep at least one and we'll see if we need more because I'm gonna I have um, eight uh, three signatures of eight pages so that's a lot of that's a lot of uh, signatures so this here is the violet pack and I figured there's some if I'm running here that could be cool it won't necessarily all be um, the type that I need for this okay of course I can't find uh, the gizmo to open up the staples now that I need it uh, story of my life when I need something I can't find it and I'm pretty sure as soon as I won't need it I'm gonna see that it's right on in front of my face on my desk because it shouldn't be too far Ah, there it is. I knew it. I knew it was in front of my face. So my big cleanup didn't really last, <laughs> as you can tell. Yeah, well, it happens, right? So let's open this up. What's fun with these little package is that even the package you can use. Look at those beautiful papers. And you've got the back as well. So yeah, very fun things. I didn't want to rip this up so this is the violet one so this would be perfect that would be perfect um, this could be fun I could have organized today but you would not have this card oh that's cute those are very pretty ephemeras this looks like a soap Thing. who says you have to follow the rules that could be fun um, because obviously when you uh, cook and do recipes you don't necessarily follow the rules okay so these three would be good put the rest of my little ephemera in my little bag before I lose them all over Oh, this is pretty too. Look at that. Those papers. Very pretty. So this one is must be the this one is the red pack. Has this is perfect. Wood coloring not so much. Uh, drink coffee would be good. Soothing syrup, no, not so much. Bird, no. Oh, this would be perfect. Making friend one cookie at a time, I like that. And the pumpkin. That could be pretty too. Because there is a lot of love that's involved in cooking so put that one aside and this one is the maroon marron in French and I saw that there's a few in there as well because I bought basically I bought them all um, but I just took out the ones that I could see from the back had some um, some pretty images that could fit with the kitchen team.
Uh, you say old, I say vintage. <laughs> What is that? Flower, I guess. This could fit. The wives, I would think, would fit. The coffee, yes. Vegetable seed, flower seeds. The onions, yes. Oh, we've got another one who says you've got to follow the rules. I don't know if it's the same. Yeah, it's it's similar. It does it's not exactly the same, but dreams to come true and suitcase. Okay, so we'll go with these um, because I know as well from what I saw on the papers, there's certain things that I can fussy cut out. And that would look good. Okay. So these are the elements that we're going to be playing with. And uh, my little envelopes. So, so, so. Like, I love these. Like really, love is like bread, it needs to be made fresh every day. That's so cool. Kitchen encyclopedia. That'd be perfect. I think I want to use a bit of this paper. Paper. I want to use some dictionary paper as well. Take some old pages that are yellowed. I want to do that. And then I want to cut this out. I don't know which one I want to use. I can all cut them out and, uh, and then I'll see, I guess, which one would fit better. Are you in frame? Yeah. So papers like this, you can use them in all kinds of different ways. You don't have to use a full sheet as a sheet. You can do what I'm doing, which is fussy cut out elements that you think would look good on what you're making. Like I've got the bread here. It's cute. Something like that, maybe. Let's distress this a bit. Use vintage photo just because I can. I'll be right back. I've got something to go and get. Okay, sorry about that. I wanted to go and get some burlap. Um, and you can also get burlap, uh, the, the burlap at uh, Canvas Corp. 
And they have uh, they have it in all kinds of different ways. It's uh, some of it is um, I'm gonna use some cheesecloth as well. I think I'm really loving cheesecloth these days. Um, so yeah, they they have it in all kinds of different ways. They have it in color as well. Um, yeah, just just a lot of goodies that you can play with. Okay, did I ink everything? I think I did, except for this. So I love using envelopes, as you know, and I love to recycle. And I love that all the stuff that uh, Canvas Corp uh, a lot of the um, seven gypsies and stuff it's all it it's all vintagey and older and fits with with that um, theme of uh, recycling and just want a small strip I think. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, where did I put my glue gun? Oh, there it is. And everything's probably gonna fall because everything was lying on top of it. There goes one of my hair. Place. and I know the image will do the rest. I think I want this underneath. So just put a bit of fiber fix. And then on top of it. I had ah, I knew I had a BB wave close by that was wet. I think that's really cute and it's gonna it's gonna make you know it's gonna go on something like this you know I think it's gonna make some really cool pockets for my uh, for my recipes so so one done let's put that one aside let's work with the other one This one, I think I want to go with the yellow. So I don't want the paper to all be the same. Could be something like that. So 
so that could be cute. It could be cute. There's so much that could be cute. Okay, so I think I like that one because of the yellow. So I'm gonna go with that. said so just gonna glue that down so do you guys have um, a recipe book that you've made and where you store all your precious recipes. My husband likes to um, be a copycat. He'll um, transcribe whatever recipe that I've have gotten into uh, his computer. But I like having an actual book. There's something about having a book that I just like it. I can't. Uh, That's another one. I think that's really cute. Okay, so next, uh, let's find. Uh, I like the idea of using the the actual window so that I could see through. So. Could use the white so it'd be different and not all gray. Um, I wonder if I want to put I think hmm, I don't like all the white so I'm thinking I've got to somewhere. Where is it? Oh my god. That's what happens? It's a big mess again. I used to have something that I use as a stencil. Ah, there it is. 
much and all that. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, I think that's gonna make it look better. Yeah, definitely. Doesn't look as weird. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. So, just edge everything. I think it's kind of cool that you can be still seeing some of the window, but not all of it. I'm going to put this on top because I really want it to stick to the burlap. So I know that with this it will. Yeah. I wonder if I want to put the bread there. Or maybe not. So that's the one. Then we have this one. And I don't know why when they're all full like that, I kind of like having the little tab at the top. Don't really know why, I just do. Here. That one has the bottles, so I'm gonna kind of take those bottles as well. That one I don't think will need much at all. It's fun having the double-sided paper because it just coordinates so much better. Yeah, I really like that. So, so it's super fast and easy to make all those little pockets. Uh, then I'll be ready to put them in my book and assemble the whole thing. Okay. 
in like that. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so need to find that more envelope. So let's uh, use up this one. the same thing I did with the other one. Start off by doing that. Enter. Put. It's beeping. Yeah, I think I like that. I love keeping just tiny bits like this and using them finally. <laughs> Sometimes 
this. Like that, wipe this off before I glue something to, to it, and there we go. So those little pockets are going to be great fun to use, and I hope it inspires you to make your own and recycle. And go and check out. Canvas Corp and Seven Gypsies architecture uh, brand, just amazing stuff. Uh, so pretty. Kind of like the idea of that. I think I like that, just simple like this. So I think this will be the last one we'll do together, just because I don't want this video to be super, super long. Um, but I wanted to share with you what I was making. Oh, I wanted to use that cheese a lot. Have to use another one. So, just like that. So that's the last one. So we've made uh, six. I think that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good start. So, looking forward to uh, reading your comments about this and what do you think about my idea. And uh, hopefully, um, it is something that you'd want to try. So, bye everyone! Oh, don't forget in the description box below the links to the products I've used. Bye!